Uh, my name's Jo uh, Pepper. I've been a swimming teacher now for about 10 years. Um, I'm 26 years old um, and I signed up mainly to do Swim to the Games because uh, the Games mean quite a lot to me and my family with my brother going down to the Paralympics um, in London. Uh, so we're quite excited about that. Um, so I've got Ian and Eamon. Both have lessons on a different day. Um, both of them have done really well. They both came with some concept of um, sort of being able to do the breaststroke. As I say, we've now got to a full length of front crawl for both of them and also we're just improving the technique on the breaststroke. Uh, both of them have become really really confident in the water. The main thing I get is a sort of a big sense of achievement regarding sort of the swimmers and when they achieve something it's like quite a big goal for myself as well. For example uh, the big goal uh, this time has been both Ian and Eamon both achieving um, one full length of front crawl which we're now building on. My name is Eamon. I originally come from Ireland. I've lived in England now for over 27 years. Um, I work in the building trade, I'm a surveyor and um, I signed up to the games, well it was my wife and my son signed me up for it due to the fact that I am not a very, or have never been a very confident swimmer, I could never really swim a length. Didn't believe I'd be chosen, uh, my wife and my son put me in for it, I knew about it but um, just didn't think anything would come of it but uh, happy as well because I was looking forward to the challenge. I guess fitness out of it, um, I get to swim with my son, hopefully, one of these days. I've got a lot more confident with my swimming. It's given me a routine. I enjoy it. I could swim a little before, but no, not, not a full length as such. Uh, my first length, yes, it was very good, and because I had the trainer with me, I was very confident, a lot more confident in the water than I had been previously. It was just a big achievement for me because uh, I, it's something I could never really do. I could probably do five or six strokes and then collapse, but uh, once I managed the full length, I seemed to be progressing slowly. I'm Ian. I work for, for Life Leisure. Um, obviously from my accent you can tell I'm not from around here, so I'm, I'm from Barnsley, but I um, signed up for swim to games because I've never really been able to swim. Um, when I was younger, a little bit of a jack the lad, I could sort of do one length and then I just started bombing in and diving in and stuff. Um, so really for me, swimming to swim games is a bit about a personal challenge and just being able to do something properly, so that's why I signed up. When I first got in water, I was a little bit nervous. Um, it's just one, like a little bit older, having lessons, you feel a little bit, bit silly, but as soon as you're in there, um, it was fine. And then when I swam my first length, particularly when I swam my first length of front crawl, it, it felt like a real, real good achievement because it had been something that I'd been working towards for sort of a couple of weeks, um, and I was getting closer and closer and closer, and when I swam my first length, it, were, it was a, a real achievement. It means that I get up earlier on a Friday, um, feel like a proper swimmer getting in the pool at that time. Um, but also it's just been me a lot more confident in water. Um, and I feel like when I go on holiday and stuff in future now I'll be a lot more confident. Um, I might even be able to swim at sea one day. Obviously it's a good exercise to keep fit um, and it's a life skill so it's something that I'll be able to do now for the rest of my life. Well my favourite thing is possibly when I get out of the water the sense of achievement and feeling tired but also feeling like you've done something and least favourite oh split ends <laughs> my hair's a mess since since I started my least favourite thing about swimming um, is getting up early on a Friday um, it's a bit of a nightmare I don't have to worry about split ends like Eamon, um, but smelling a chlorine um, is a little bit annoying what techniques do you use to get the best out of people? Um, I use a lot of techniques, um, a lot of sort of different learning styles, a lot of praise and a lot of encouragement and reinforcement. And it, it could be a tiny small bit each week that we've built, uh, we've built up from one length front crawl going on to a length and a half, a length and a quarter and my main uh, sort of way to encourage that is to just keep feeding it and sort of drawing on what they're achieving. My wife and my son push me to do it and Joe, the trainer is very good she encourages us all the way. All the other swimmers is something that motivates, motivates me. Obviously we've got a challenge to try and swim to London, which is 203 miles from Grand Central. So there's motivation on my part to, to try and swim my share and, and just swim as far as possible really to help us get, get our, achieve our goal. Aspirations for the next few months are obviously to keep working on my front crawl um, and building up the amount of lengths that I can swim. 
last week I did my first two lengths back to back, so hopefully within a few weeks I'll be swimming multiple lengths um, and maybe even throwing in a tumble turn as well. I hope to achieve the goals that are set and eventually, uh, if it comes about, to swim the pool. What advice would you have for people interesting, interested in started, starting swimming who might be putting it on? Um, there's no time like the present. Um, if you just get, get in the pool and, and, and try it. I've never really been able to swim, but um, once you get over that fear of getting in the water, um, anything's possible. I feel great since I started. Um, I was very apprehensive and I needed that bit of encouragement. Was It's just keeping the routine going. Once you've started, not to miss out. Go for it, it's never too late. Start, you know, small steps and you will, it will build up, but definitely go for it. And a final message for your sons? Come on, we can do it. Two lengths front crawl. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, hope we all achieve our goals. Yeah, we've done well so far to get to, get to where we are. Um, now we just need a big push before the Olympics to just try and uh, get some more miles out, so I'm sure we can do it. Go team. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. All right, cheers.